Anne Delaney and Tanyal Begnash didn't know each other when Delaney saw this Facebook cry for help. Tanyal's young son was in desperate need of a kidney transplant. I went through breathing testing, um, blood. They test you for West Nile. They test you for everything. Delaney didn't hesitate going through all the extreme testing to see if she could be an organ donor for little Cade Trombley, a boy she had never met. Say, Papa? 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 <laughs> While pregnant with Cade, Tanya learned her son had a blockage in his urethra. His kidneys and bladder were enlarged. The mother of three knew he would need a kidney transplant, and that need came quickly. They had told us that he would be about 10 to 15 years old before he needed a kidney transplant. He was 30 hours old, and they had said, we're rushing him in for emergency surgery. Little Cade was put on the wait list for a living donor, but there was no match until Ann. I was a match. Last summer, Delaney and Cade went into surgery, and when they woke up, Cade's new kidney went right to work. And when he got that kidney, it was like his life, you know, he came to life, and he now is that child he was supposed to be. Delaney's generosity forever binds the two mothers. When you think of a hero, how you can't ask for anything more than somebody's selfless act of giving another person their life. Delaney says the decision to reach out to a stranger in need was easy. If you can save a child, you help. If somebody needs something, you help. And now, when this two-year-old boy looks at his Red Cross everyday hero, it's like he knows. He carries a piece of her with him. In Enosburg Falls, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5. And we